Welcome to the channel. I finally got my hands on a brand new RTX 4070 Ti Super. Um, this one specifically is the Gigabyte 4070 Ti Super Gaming OC model. I am going to do some Blender rendering test and compare these results to the other GPUs I have on my list so that you can maybe decide if it's a good value for your use case or not. So the first thing we'll do is cover the, the general specs of this GPU. This is a 4000 series GPU with 8,448 CUDA cores, 16 gigabytes of DDR6 graphics RAM, and a 256-bit bus. Um, you can see that this model is slightly overclocked versus a reference model Tech power up here says about 2%. I'll click back to the reference page and we can see the relative performance chart here. Um, according to Tech Power Up's data, which I believe is based solely on the FP16 compute, it's not a ray tracing benchmark like Blender will be. Um, but according to Tech Power Up, the 4070 Ti Super is 3% slower than the 7900 XT from AMD and about 8% faster than a 4070 Ti. So uh, I don't have those two models tested yet, but I do have a 3090 and a 4090. And I have a couple results for the 7900 XTX from subscribers that have submitted them. So we'll see where this 4070 Ti Super falls in the range of these other high-end cards. On the right side of the screen, you can see my spreadsheet. If at any point you want to look at the results, you can pause it and check these out. Once we get the test results, I will add them to the table and then we'll sort the whole table so um, everything's in order. But with that, let's just get right into the testing. So I have remoted into my test bench system. As you can see here, this has a 5950X 16 core processor. 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 3600 megahertz. Here you can see our RTX 4070 Ti Super GPU. So let's get that out of the way and let's just go ahead and get right to the test. So I'll pull up the preferences every time so that you can see we are using the GPU I am claiming to use. Um, we're running optics, cycles render device, um, just the GPU, no CPU. I'm also using these files with whatever settings they open with. And I may change the frames, which I'll discuss later, but um, I don't mess with any of the rendering settings. I don't turn on denoising or anything like that, just so that all of my results reflect the same test. So I'm gonna close the preferences and I'm just gonna click render. And the classroom scene is very, very lightweight nowadays. So it does not take very long. This should be done any second. Now this might be a little hard to see on my screen because it is a bit, a bit bigger. This took just about 10 seconds to render. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and record my result. We'll just call it an even 10 because it was really close. I'll go ahead and sort this chart and we can kind of see where 4070 Ti Super falls on the classroom scene. No real surprise, it's slower than the 4090, faster than the 4070, but we're talking differences of one or two or three seconds here. Um, so the classroom scene is quickly becoming relatively useless for such fast hardware uh, because these aren't very significant numbers anymore. That was classroom, next we'll move on to barbershop. Okay, you can see here I've got my space ready to go. So I'll hop back on the remote machine, close out of this file, and we'll open the barbershop. The only real changes that I make in this file, um, I enable the GPU compute option in the render properties tab. Um, obviously that's what we're testing here. And then I always run frame 100 on this file. I don't remember even why I started doing that, but I have run all of my tests the exact same way. I'm gonna go up to the preferences and show you that we're using the 4070 Ti Super again with optics. 
and I'm going to render the image. Now this one does take a little bit longer to render, so I will fast forward here so that we don't have to watch it, and I'll come back in just a sec. Okay, so that is it for the barbershop. This took 46.8 seconds on the 4070 Ti Super. 46.8, I'll make sure. 46.8, yep. So I'll type that in on the spreadsheet and sort this page. So in the barbershop scene, which is a little bit heavier, we do get a little bit more reasonable results. Um, and by the way, for all these tests today, I'm still using Blender 3.6. The last time I tested Blender 4.0, as you might be able to see on some of these other results, um, Blender 4.0 at least was slightly slower or exactly the same as 3.6. Uh, I haven't tried 4.1, but I'm sticking with 3.6 for now so that all of these results are comparable. But just know that Blender 4 is not much faster and it might even be slightly slower for optics and cycles in general. So just a side note there. But for the barbershop scene, we can see that, you know, we have the same general res uh, result as before the 4070 Ti Super is between the 4090 and the 4070 Super. Uh, but you can really see some of the comparisons here. Um, the one big standout here is the 7900 XTX is about 23 seconds slower in this test versus the 4070 Ti Super. And for their prices, that makes the NVIDIA card look quite a bit better. Um, I don't have one of these cards. It was submitted by a subscriber slash friend from the channel. So um, I haven't been able to confirm any of those myself, but you can see the results here. Now let's go on to the Lone Monk scene and we'll open up Lone Monk. Now this one loads with GPU compute enabled. I'm not going to change any settings. Here is our 4070 Ti Super with no CPU enabled. So we'll close that and we'll render the image. This one takes even longer than Barbershop, so I'll fast forward one more time. So the Lone Monk scene took two minutes and three seconds. So we'll call it 123 seconds. Let's go log that in the spreadsheet and resort. The 4070 Ti Super is between the 4070 and the 4090. Not surprising at all. What is interesting is, according to my friend Edgar the Face on YouTube here, uh, the 7900 XTX actually pulls ahead of the 4070 Ti Super slightly in this scene. So. For some reason, in heavier scenes, the 7900 XTX might be able to pull out some wins. So at this point, it kind of looks like the um, NVIDIA and AMD GPUs here are trading blows, which again, keep in mind, the price ranges are a little bit different. Now, of course, there's discounts that may pull these a little closer together from time to time, but um, for now, it looks like the 4070 Ti Super is a better value still just for Blender and if you can deal with 16 versus the 24 gigs of VRAM that the AMD GPU has. So very interesting results. Trading blows on some tests. NVIDIA clearly wins on others. Uh, it's really weird how this switches from scene to scene, but it definitely gives some extra hope for AMD's hardware. All right, I'll save this. We'll go on to the scan lands test finally for the last one. And this one is another one that's fairly quick. So we'll open that up real quick. I have GPU compute enabled. Under preferences, you can see our 4070 Ti Super under optics rendering devices with no CPU selected. That looks good to go, so I'll click render. And this one doesn't take near as long. So I won't fast forward this one at all. So here in the end of the video, I'll pause on each tab of the spreadsheet for a few seconds. If you want to look at all of the data yourself, um, just pause the video and you can look through them that way. 
If you have any questions or comments or want me to test something else, let me know. Um, I am gonna get a couple servers in the mail, hopefully in the next week. So I'm gonna have a whole new sort of line of rendering content based on um, some slightly old Xeon servers with a whole lot of CPU cores. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, um, we'll summarize these results here and then, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. For our last test here, we got 28 seconds for the scan land scene. So let's go note that and sort one more time. And again, no surprise here, the 4070 Ti Super falls right between the 4090 and the 4070 Super. So um, let me start over here at Classroom. I'll just pause these um, every few seconds. And then here are the barbershop results. And then here are the Lone Monk results. And finally, scan lands. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I really hope these are helpful so that you can decide what hardware is right for your needs. Thanks.